These small things might not seem huge, but when you compound them over time, when you start to repeat them over and over and over again, investing into you and how you actually grow yourself, there is a huge reward. And that's you developing confidence. But it doesn't happen until you take the first step. It doesn't happen until you decide, hey, I'm going to do this, the same thing over and over and over again. Just like when you tied your shoes. You tied your shoes, and then you tied your shoes, 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 and you did it over and over and over again. So you got to the place where you could tie your shoes without even looking. You could tie your shoes, and it was just a habit. And then you just slip on your shoes, you don't have time anymore, right? But like you get to a place where you tie them so much that you don't need any more confidence in tying your shoes. You can show up and you can tie your shoes. It's the same thing with your healing. The problem is because of the toxic voice in your head from the narcissist or your own limiting beliefs so their own story that you're telling yourself, you start to believe that you can't develop confidence by doing stuff. Let me tell you this right now. You can't develop confidence by not doing stuff. You can't sit there and say, I'm going to do this when I get more confident. That's like someone says, hey, I'm going to do this project when it's perfect. It's never going to be perfect. You're never going to be confident until you take a step, until you make a decision. Until you start investing in yourself, till you start moving forward saying, hey, I'm actually going to invest in myself today. That's what we do. That's what I do on a day-to-day basis. How do I show up in my body, my being, in my balance, in my business? How do I show up of what I'm actually doing physically to make sure I'm putting myself into a place of power and certainty? How do I connect with God or the universe or meditation? Like, How do I actually move into this place where I get clear of what's up here? How do I move into a place where I'm connecting with my wife and with my daughter on a day-to-day basis? How do I start investing in them? How do I start doing that in the aspect of business and how I'm growing and producing for my family? Like, All of these things are self-development, are helping you move forward. But when you don't start to invest in you, nothing changes. When you don't start investing in doing the daily small things. This is the piece that changes radically for people's lives is when they start investing in daily habits. Repetition. Repetition breeds confidence. If you do one thing one day and the next thing you don't do anything, The next thing you don't do anything. The next day you do something. The next day you don't do anything. Back and forth. It doesn't breed confidence. It's like you're tying your shoe one day, learning how to tie it one day, then not doing it for a week, then doing it one day, and then not doing it for two days, and then doing it one day, and then not doing it for 10 days. Like the very first time you've ever done it. Are you going to get good at it? No, because you don't have the repetition. You don't have the reps that are put in saying, hey, this is what I need to do consistently to be able to grow myself. So I want to ask you, what habits do you have today? What habits do you have consistently? Not just the every other day, not just the Monday through Friday habits, but the every single day, no matter what habits that invest into you. If you don't have that, you might want to start looking at that. If you don't have that, we might be a resource that could help you with that. Because that was, that's what we're trying to dive into and help people on a daily basis of building habits back into you. I can explain a bunch of things from the narcissist perspective. I can explain a bunch of things about the abuse. I can help you break out of the trauma bond, all those things. But until we start building healthy habits on the other side, you will, you will continue to slide back into a toxic relationship because you don't have something driving you forward. Instead, you just have you standing there and something constantly pulling you back, sucking you back into the toxic relationship. So we need to break you free, break you free of the trauma one, and we need to work on your habits. What are you actually doing on a day-to-day basis? So what are you doing? Like, be honest, put it in the chat. What are you doing? If you're like, hey, I don't have a habit, okay? Then what can we implement? What can we start to do? I don't want you to leave this live and you're like, oh yeah, that was a great little live. And then you don't actually do anything because then it's kind of pointless. So what habit do you need to do? Right now, put in the chat. You're like, hey, this is a habit I know that I need to do. This is a habit that I do half-ass. Like I need to actually do this. Put it in the chat. What's that habit? Self-care, okay? Michelle, tell me, what's self-care? Hair and makeup, daily routine, Jennifer. Okay, perfect, awesome. Take care of myself. Well, Jenny, what is that? What is take care of myself? Workout. Great job. Okay. The workout. Define how long, how many days, what are you going to do daily? Get specific with it. Trying to build my circle. How are you going to do that? Working and working out, spending time with friends. 
take care of myself. Okay, talk to me. How does that take care of myself look like? Okay, Michelle, what does self-care look like? Even if you're not leaving, I get that. Like, what does self-care look like for you? Jogging, awesome. How long? How many times? How many days? Okay, I'm so depressed, it's hard. Okay, Jenny, what is one small thing? You can just wake up, wake up in the morning, you can make the bed. You go for a walk. Like, like I'm asking you guys this because we need to be able to put good, healthy habits that are actually pushing you forward. Yoga, good nutrition, okay? Beginning to walk at least four miles a week. Perfect, all right? So that's really good because you're saying, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. Not making excuses, getting pre-approved for mortgage and getting the fuck out of it. Yeah, 100%. So like when I'm talking about this, like I'm talking about habits, you need to know what they are, you need to establish them, and then you need to quantify them. How do you know that this is actually happening? What does this actually look like? What does success look like with this habit or not? Think of it this way. If I just say, hey, I need to work out more, you're not going to do it. It's not going to be helpful. But when you sit down and you're like, hey, I, I'm going to work out 20 minutes a day, seven days a week. Okay? That's quantifiable. So then you go on Monday and you work out 15 minutes a day. Did you hit your goal? No. But you made effort. So the next day you work out 20 minutes. You're like, hey, I got one out of seven. And then you keep doing it over and over and over again. Repetition. This is the piece that you need to be understand. Repetition breeds confidence. But you need to be able to have this dialed in. You need to get really specific on what you're doing. This is what I focus on in one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is what I focus on with some of my year-long clients, like people that I'm like, hey, now we're focusing on your habits. What are, they, what are your habits? Do you know what your habits are? What your goals are? Do you know what they are? Have you actually written them down? Have you communicated them? And do you track them? If you don't, you don't really count. You're like, what? They don't count? No, they don't count because you're not tracking it. You can't look back and show to yourself that you've actually shown up for yourself. And when you stop showing up for yourself and tracking it so you can see that you've shown up for yourself, you let yourself down. And then you start to wonder why you don't have confidence. If you're hearing what I'm saying right now, say, I see it in the chat. You're like, I see what you're saying. I see it. Like your goals and your habits need to be quantifiable. They need to be something you're putting down that you can say, did I, did I hit it? Did I not? Did I get it? Did I not? Like when you start to bring these into your day-to-day -day life, and it could be five minutes, a five-minute habit. That's it. I'm not saying it has to be a ton. It can be anywhere from five minutes to five hours. But this has to get into your life, even in a tiny, small aspect, to start building confidence back into you that you can actually show up for you. The narcissist beat you down so long. Don't let your own mind continue to do it in and out of the relationship. If you want help with this, you can click on the link in the bio. You can go to escapetoxicity.com. Seven-day challenge, $7, lifetime access, community to help you actually walk through the process of what is narcissism, what is reactive abuse, where am I at, how do I get out of this, how do I move forward? If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to dive into some of the coaching or some of the stuff that we do inside our Thriver community that is very much focused on these habits, these growths and the development, then go to rawmotivations.com. Because we want to be able to bring tools saying, hey, here's what it is. Here's how we track it. Here's the direction we're going. What you do today matters tomorrow. What you do today matters for the week, for the month, for the year, for the direction that you want to go. But we cannot build this consistency until we develop a daily habit that helps you get to your confidence.